should I fire my sponsor or why should I fire my sponsor? And I think another good question is, why should I not fire my sponsor? Because I've heard and I've seen lots of people that have fired their sponsor and it's like, why are you firing your sponsor? Why should I fire my sponsor? Why should I not fire my sponsor? And we had one of our one of our clients at Camelback Recovery had a, and this was a, a client that had uh, had resources financially, so had quite a bit of money. I mean, this client had a, a big house. Her husband bought her a house on in Paradise Valley on the side of the mountain. So she was at our sober living house, but then during the day she would go to this house on the side of the mountain. So she had she had quite a bit of money. And her sponsor asked her if she could borrow $10,000. And it's like, what? That's not right. Okay, so that definitely a situation where a sponsor needs to be fired. So for the most part, I mean, if your sponsor is available, your sponsor is meeting with you on a regular basis, accepting your phone calls or calling you back, and is willing to work with you through the steps, for the most part, I, in, in my opinion, you, you wouldn't want to, okay, I guess it's more, why should I not fire my sponsor? You shouldn't fire your sponsor if your sponsor is holding you accountable. If your sponsor is asking you to call, is asking you to call him or her every single day, giving you requirements, giving you homework, telling you, giving you instructions and being assertive in the instructions and you don't like it or you don't like being talked to that way or you're you're entitled and you you think that your sponsor should be doing what you want him to do that would be a time when you wouldn't fire a sponsor i don't know if i'm really answering this question very well to be quite honest but if you if you pray meditate talk to other people that are in your circle and they agree that maybe a better, a different sponsor might be a better fit, then I would say, yeah, start looking for another sponsor. And in my opinion, finding another sponsor before you fire your sponsor is a good thing because you don't want to be out there without a sponsor. And that's called self-sponsoring. And when people sponsor themselves, it typically never goes well. In my opinion, you need somebody else and my experience and probably everybody else's opinion that's in the 12-step program anyways, you need somebody else to sponsor you. And not having a sponsor is not, you, you can't really just take yourself through the steps. Like you need a sponsor to guide you, to love you, to hold you accountable, give you the support, give you the love. And, but remember, a sponsor's job is to take you through the steps. So if a sponsor is asking you to do anything that is outside of your values, outside of your value system, I mean, shoot, you might not even know what your values are yet. I mean, especially if you're newly in recovery. I mean, I know it took me a little while before I really got clear on my values. And that's part, you know, part of working the 12 steps, part of the fourth step is figuring out, okay, what are my character defects and where was I wrong? Where am I selfish, self-centered? Where am I resentful? Where am I dishonest? And, and figuring out the things that are outside of your value system. And once you determine your values, as long as you're living and behaving within your values and your sponsor is in support of that, I would say that you're, you keep your sponsor. The sponsor you have is the right sponsor for you. If you can talk with a few people that are also in the program. So if you're talking with people that are in the program or your therapist and they support you finding another sponsor, then I would say, yeah, why not? Fire your sponsor, go get another sponsor. My experience also is that people that are not, if you're asking somebody that's not in a 12 step program, if you should fire your sponsor, typically, I mean, as alcoholics and drug addicts, I mean, as an alcoholic and drug addict, I can convince anybody anything. So I'm a great salesperson. So especially somebody that's not in the 12 step program, I can convince them that my way is the right way and that my sponsor is not the right sponsor for me. 
my opinion, find somebody that is in the program. If you can get them to be on board with firing your sponsor and getting a new sponsor, then by all means, go for it.